Hello everyone. Just here today to give an update on our urban Buddhist monastery and meditation center project that we've begun uh, here in Ontario, Canada. The project started as a, an attempt to gauge interest in a potential future um, creation of a monastery and meditation center here in Ontario, Canada. And the date was set to January of 2016 that if we had enough support by that time, we would go ahead and begin to, uh, we would acquire a property uh, on a one-year lease and begin to establish a presence here. Uh, the, out the response was so great, as you can see if you've been to the project, the project support page, uh, with that in about 10 days we had uh, received half of our expected support or hoped for support. And so uh, we asked the question as to whether or not and we discussed the question of whether or not we could just go ahead, not wait till January, because in September uh, we will be, or I will be uh, involved with starting up the McMaster Buddhism Association in Hamilton, Ontario at the university. And I will begin to get involved with the university, studying, teaching, uh, Buddhism, meditation, and so on. So the idea would be to, or the idea was that we would um, begin right away and establish our presence at the beginning of the school of the semester school year, the September school year. And we agreed that this was doable, and so we've gone ahead and done it. We now have signed a lease, and we'll be moving into a property uh, close to the McMaster University in September. So um, the project has changed, as, as uh, well, has accelerated. And now we're in the phase where we're looking for, looking to answer the question as to whether or not this is sustainable. We now have a one-year lease, so can we uh, sustain it for a year and have an outlook that, to be able to s extend it into the future? If at the end of the year uh, we have the support, we will continue it and this will, will become a resource here in, in uh, Ontario. So just a little bit of background on the project because if you're seeing this video it might be the only thing that you see about the project. Um, it, it's On the one hand the idea is to be a resource for people here in Ontario especially at the university, so for university students, but the idea behind that is to create a community. It doesn't matter where it is, this just happens to be the place where I find myself, so uh, the idea was to start a community here to uh, set up a network and a support group that, or an organization that could um, carry out, maintain, support the activities that I've been doing more or less on my own for a long time, um, or with the help of various people at various times. So the idea is now to establish this, such a group here as could help with things like recording videos, um, maintenance of the website, and um, who could help organize res residential courses. And so part of it is going to be about local activities. So we'll try to have daily uh, meetings, daily sessions here with an audience, uh, or at the new property with an audience coming to listen to talks, to learn how to meditate. We'll have an hour a day where people can come in and learn how to meditate for the first time. Um, we'll have daily talks and so on. And I will be giving talks at McMaster. It'll allow me to be, in, to be closely involved with the university and to also provide a resource for the McMaster Buddhism Association, a location where they can hold uh, activities in uh, activities that are better suited for a um, dedicated location. Uh, but on top of and uh, on top of that, there will be residential courses, which of course will be probably most beneficial to the local community. 
But on top of that, of, of course, the, the other part of this is to be a support for the international activities that I've been doing for such a long time. So first of all, the residential courses are international. People do come from other countries, so it is a resource for people who have come you know, here where I am now, you know, not having moved yet. Um, people have come from Europe, come from America. Um, people have even, you know, people visit, visiting from Asia, that kind of thing. All over the world, really. So, um, there's that. And there's also, of course, the internet activities. Now, a lot of the things I do on the internet as you can see, they've been sporadic and um, quickly changing. I tend to move from one project to another because my own situation changes, my ability and my resources and, and the uh, situation I find myself in is fluid. Now the idea is with a more solid location that will be able to set up a better schedule and with the network of people, with people who can help, for example, recording, encoding, uploading videos, um, you know, we'll be able to be more efficient and as a result get more out there. And maybe finish off some of the YouTube projects that I haven't finished yet. So that's basically what it's about. Um, to make it happen though, we need support. And so this is what I said, is I, we need people to take the initiative. I said, I, I'm not going to, if, if we're going to do this project, it can't be under my initiative. There are many things as a monk that I can't be the one to initiate and so we have great volunteers from the internet community who have stepped up to help with that but we also need support from the general community and so that they have uh, one of the volunteers set up this uh, online support project um, which this video is attached to and there's if you if not then there's a link in the description to the project and um, please check it out, and if you think it's a worthy cause, then by all means help us to make this a reality. So, uh, for, for, our, for the benefit, uh, if you found that this, these teachings are beneficial, uh, then for your own benefit. If you think it's beneficial to others and you want to do this as a service to the world, like the rest of us are doing, then by all means become a part of something great, something beneficial. And we're all doing this because of the importance of goodness and because of a, a belief and an understanding that goodness and happiness are closely related. If you want to be happy, this requires the undertaking of goodness. If you, uh, if you aren't cultivating goodness, don't expect, to, don't expect happiness in your future. So this is our practice of goodness with a, an intention to bring happiness both to ourselves and to others. So thank you for watching this. And thank, ev thank you to everyone, uh, joy and appreciation to everyone who has expressed their support and their appreciation and most importantly who has put these teachings into practice to show us that the effort is not in vain. So that's all I have to say. Thank you again. Wishing you all the best and peace and happiness to all.